first thing to start off a good day is you need a little pour over action. And if Yoda's involved, I ain't mad. This is a pour over for those that don't know. This is basically what your fancy coffee machine does for you. But this will go straight through your beans, straight through your beans, your legumes, your crushed legumes. A little, a little action. Breakfast of champions. I've only been, oh, the cup's a little low. So I'll lean down. I've only been at this house for four days now. So uh, my routine's still being built out. When I travel, my routine's a little bit different. At my old place, my routine was a little bit different. Now I'm downtown, it's kind of sick because I don't got to drive around. So my routine can be a little more free flow and get some fresh air. But uh, I think everybody needs to find a flow. And I don't mean like flow state, although that's great. If you can get into such a zone where you're working so, so insanely fast that it doesn't really matter. Um, time slows down and, and you're just so locked in. I don't mean that, but I mean like a flow as in routine for me isn't as strict as six meals a day and I'm scheduling things out to a half an hour. But for me, it allows me to be free that I can get all my shit done before noon. You know, I have, I have three to four really, really productive hours where I don't have to do anything else. So I know basically before noon, I'm working. The only thing I, I need to get done is a possible workout if I get my work done early and get my goddamn coffee in. Coffee starts the day, emails start the day. My mama says, my mama's a, a wise woman. A very wise woman. I owe her everything. And not in like the typical way you owe her everything, like, oh, she made you. Because she did, but I owe her everything. My, my, my greatest supporter allowed me to do what I do, allowed me to be who I am, and taught me many things. But she once told me the one lesson I disagree with my mamas. She said, you have to, sometimes you have to do things you hate, or we don't always get to do what we want. Or sometimes you have to do things you don't like to do. And I think about this a lot. She told me that at a young ass age, like simple things like, you know, there's some school event I don't want to go to. And she's telling me, well, you got to go. You got to go because sometimes you got to do things you don't want. And I'm literally for the last 30 years, I guess more technically the last 10 years working on making a life where I take that ratio of, of things I don't want to do and literally doing whatever it is I want to do and changing that ratio over. So we've gotten pretty good. So mornings, we got emails. I have three big email addresses I have to hunt down. Um, an older email address, kind of my business one, and then Kaizen where I'm answering your fitness questions and things. So I gotta bank those out every morning. Two of them get pretty swamped. Um, coffee is something I want to do. So we're, we're at a one-to-one -one ratio right now. Emails versus coffee. Uh, I set up most of my meetings pre-noon. I, I try to get all my work done before noon. Um, I wake up around seven, sit in bed for a while, get the coffee, get the work, get the meetings. And then the rest of my day is doing whatever the hell I think helps me or I want to do. So sometimes like, sometimes I don't want to go work out. I'm not, I'm not Mr. Pe Peppity Peppity Poo and I'm trying to just get so excited and go fucking work out all the time. And yeah, bro, like I love the gym. I like training, but I work out because I do want to, um, because I know overall it's going to help me mentally and physically. Uh, rather than like every single thing I do, I'm, I'm an excited child, just can't wait to go to Disneyland. That's not the case. And that's not how life works. I don't know what age you guys all are. I think you're in your early 20s and some of you more or more you have that figured out. Um, or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a rotten egg and things don't excite me anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm not easily excited. I have a patio right here <clears throat> and then the streets right there. And a car just drove by. I'm sorry, ADD kicked in squad. And a car just drove by and I swear, uh, because of this and, and, and peripherals, I have great peripherals, BTW. I thought a dog was on my patio. I love dogs, but I, I have no time for a dog. I don't, I, don't have the, I don't have the resources for the dog right now, but I thought a poocher was out there. I was gonna go heroically save him. Workout done. A little bit of sweat going on. Man, I'm here to tell you, I am human. I'm reminded every day. All these highlights and shit on, on the grandma, all these highlights and shit on YouTube, for many people, me included, um, I don't feel like that every day. Woke up a little tired. I knew it was gonna be a little bit of a struggle, but luckily for me, the environment's still new, the gym in here, so it, um, it forced me to go, even though I didn't want to. If I was comfortable where I was, I might've just skipped it, or if it was far away. Um, and that may have to do 
Oh, my lack of discipline. Definitely with my lack of motivation as I don't have any insanely strict deadlines for my fitness goals. I'm literally just trying to get healthier, lose a little bit of weight, um, and that's it, uh, which is fine. You don't need to be an extreme goal to, to still be healthy or live a happy life. Uh, you don't need extreme balance. You don't need extreme anything. All these people talk all this bullshit all over and over. Oh, we, you got one crowd saying, no, no, nothing good happens if you're you know, comfortable and nothing good happens unless you have an extreme goal and extreme, extreme mindset and extreme habits build excellence. And then the other side saying balance this and balance that. Look, none of these motherfuckers have the answer. I mean, that's the truth. None of these silly motherfuckers on the internet have the answer, me included. <clears throat> All I know is I'm pushing along, I'm struggling along with the rest of you. Um, I literally did three sets of bench at 225, two sets of incline bench, three sets of lateral raises, one, two sets of flies, two sets of triceps, and then I just played basketball by myself because I got no friends. And now just kidding. I mean, I don't, I, I'm not kidding. I got no friends, but nobody was there. So I just played a little bit of basketball, got a little sweat on, rode my bike back here. That's it. They probably is an hour, probably a little bit, a little bit over an hour, to an hour, hour and 10. Um, is that going to make me a world-class bench presser? No. Do I want to be a world-class bench presser? No. Was that enough to, to, to move a little bit today, get my blood flowing? See, I'm speaking already a little faster, a little better, a little clearer than I was pre-caffeine, pre-workout. So that's why I'm into it. 11 o'clock, I think Connor went to work out too. Uh, but when he's back, I'm going to shower, get ready. When he's back, we'll go grab some food. I live in Northern California. I love all of California, but I love Northern California. This is my home. This is my domain. This is what I love. Chugging down some water, some ice, cold H2O. And then we'll wait for Connor to see what the hell happens. Fuck your guru, you know? Fuck your guru, you know?